Shalom, everyone. This is Talia. I hope your week went well. I want to share with you guys what bothered me this week. Yeah, it, it bothered me a lot to the point where um, I saw a verse before I went to bed last night, and it just resonated in my spirit. So I just wanted to share with you um, how important it is when the Most High gives us a title, gives me a title. You know, that brings responsibility. And the verse that I'm referring to is 1 Peter um, chapter 2, verse 9. And you guys might be familiar with it. It's, it's, a, it's a little common, but for some reason, it, it really stuck out a lot what um, bothered me this week. But let me read it to you first. I'm going to read the King James Version. It says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And I also want to read um, another version. It says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, for a people of Elohim's own possession, that you may proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And I thought about that saying, you know, how he is already setting a standard when you choose the most high, when you choose to be on his side, when you cross over to become a Hebrew by faith. Um, he is saying when you make that conversion process, you are a chosen people, a peculiar people, a royal priesthood. And that has a lot of honor to it has um, respect uh, and responsibility. And I think what bothered me that I saw this week on social media and other times before, but for some reason this week was really heavy. Um, other Hebrew brothers and sisters, um, to me, uh, waving their Hebrew flag, should I say, and down talk people um, using that title, that um, that respect that a royal priesthood or peculiar people in terms of bringing down others. Now, when you have a, a title of status, does that mean you have the right to bring down others? To say, I'm royal and you're stupid, or I'm royal and you're beneath me, or wave your finger and say, um, who, do, who do you think you are? I am this. It's, it's it's showing a type of arrogance versus confidence to me. And I don't like that. I think that when the Most High said, you are a holy nation, you are a set apart people, that means you are a queen. So how, do, how would a queen talk to someone that she sees that might be in a lower status than her? You know, um, a type of queen that has respect and a Proverbs 31 type of woman, if you see a sister that you want to say, okay, is beneath you, you, your job as the most high, a part of his character is to bring her up to you, bring her up with you. You can be where I am. You know, once that crossover comes, you can be up here with me. I was once where you were. And that's what I like about the second half of this verse when it says, to proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of darkness, to shout out loud, I was in darkness, but now I am not anymore. You know, I think that holds a lot of responsibility. And I don't think because I am um, a, a, representing the character of the Most High that that gives me the entitlement of to call someone, um, to down talk someone. And I, I, that did not settle with me. Um, a lot of women who make bad decisions or in a situation where um, that's bringing death to them, should I call them stupid? I mean, does, does, that, does that really help the situation or should I try to encourage that, sister to encourage that sister to love herself enough to say, you know what, the Most High did not say or he did not create you 
to be in this situation. He did not call you or the day of your birth, I anoint you to be at the bottom of a pit. That is not the most highest plan. So I think that that type of title has responsibility and I encourage my other Hebrew brothers and sisters who see people who are not converted, who um, are walking in darkness to remember where you were before the Most High called you out and use that as a witnessing tool or a way to um a way to call others out because that is what he has said you make others like me you know we're supposed to transform this earth we're supposed to walk out the torah and transform this earth that's upside down so i encourage others to do the same um that really stuck with me and i'm going to keep that in front of me especially in this season to in input uh, seeds of encouragement and wisdom to people and show them this verse and say, hey, you are this. When you choose this side, when you choose the most high, this is what it comes. This is the wonderful package that he is presenting to you. So um, I just wanted to share that with you and keep people encouraged. We're halfway through the sowing season, um, about 30 more days towards winter. So um, I wanted to to sow that into someone that may need it tonight, may need it tomorrow, or whenever you come across my video. I hope that that blesses you. So shalom. Till next time, like, subscribe, um, comment, you know, share your thoughts or your concerns, um, or just bless me with one of your testimonies. So I'll talk to you soon. All right, shalom.